Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Lost Chronicles. I'm going to be attempting to get a little further than I did last time, but then again, isn't that kind of the point of doing runs? I was a little disappointed with where I died last time, uh, but the depths is is pretty pretty tough area of the game. I was mostly disappointed because I had some really good items, was doing some pretty good damage, and thought I could you know take it pretty far. Might have had a chance at a boss rush if I would have made it that far. But, uh, alas, it was not meant to be. Okay, I think that rune uh, spawns a familiar for the, the current room. Oh, wow, that's a lot of money already. I will definitely be stopping by the shop on this floor, even if I don't pick up another three cents. Because I think that'll... I think that's enough for me now to, to get to 999 coins in the donation machine. Uh, I don't care much for the magician. Oh. Well, now I'll have a decision to make. Box of spiders. That's an item that I've never really carried around. Because I feel like every time I've found it, I've had a, uh, a slightly better spacebar item. I'll use it here, though, to get some help. Not much help because he's just going to walk around aimlessly. And <laughs> he's going to kill the easiest enemy in the room. Perfect. The AI, the AI on the spiders isn't that great, but uh, they can certainly help out in a pinch. It's just a shame I only got one from the box. Uh, the matchstick, which I believe makes a higher chance of bombs dropping. Ooh. I'm gonna buy one of these mystery items. Uh, the candle. Okay. And just like that, there goes the box of spiders again. Because I got a better item. Uh, so yeah, I'm now less than 10 coins away from, uh... Whoops. Ah, works. Still hit him. I'm now less than 10 coins away from getting 999 coins. Uh, which will, I believe, unlock the stopwatch, which is a great item for the lost. It's a great item overall, but especially for the lost. Famine is going to go down like a chump because of the candle. Told you. And he'll give me a ball of bandages. Which works as an orbital that will block shots and do damage to enemies. If I were to get another one from killing another one of the horsemen... It would, uh, ooh, just kill, well, one fly, I guess. Uh, it will uh, start shooting tears. Upon reaching level three, it would form a small little bandage girl, which would run around and uh, chew up enemies for me. And on level four, it gets a little bigger and does more damage to enemies. Level three is pretty good to have. I still haven't got the achievement for getting the level four one. Uh, so maybe this this could be the run to do it. But certainly, you know, with a little bit of firepower now, excuse the pun, this could be something decent in the making. But who am I to judge? I could find the haunt as a boss, uh, which is a, a horrible boss. He's easily the worst boss in the uh, the basement slash cellar. And I really need a key. Hey, there's a key. Perfect. Alright, we'll see what our second item room has in store for us. Oh my goodness, Mom's knife. Alright, we could potentially have a run going. Oh, okay, I, <laughs> I almost died immediately. I didn't want him to jump right at me. Uh, but Mom's knife is a great item. And especially now that I have the candle as well. This, we could have a run on our hands. Okay, monster ain't nothing. And hopefully we get a deal with the devil room here that has some decent items for us. Synthol is always good. Oh my god, <laughs> brimstone baby. Okay, this is this is an awesome run right now. Hopefully I don't royally screw it up. 
Okay, on to the caves. Or catacombs, rather. Um, yikes. Normally this is a scary room, but I'm going to obviously play it safe. Brimstone Baby is it's just one of those those items that every time you see it, you're you're gonna want to pick it up. It's just overall really good. And then also same with Mom's knife and the candle ain't no slouch either. Uh, I have quite a few. I'm gonna, I'll see what happens for the rest of this floor. Okay, this room is absolutely safe. No one can get to me. Interesting room layout, though. I don't know if I've ever seen this layout. Oh, whoops. Some more coins. Yeah, I'm gonna go use the two of diamonds. And if I can find another... Ooh, hey, the Joker. Nice. Alright, Book of Sin and Book of Belial. Pop that here for something completely worthless. Book of Belial, I know... I'm going to keep the candle. Uh, but the Book of Belial definitely uh, is a decent item to have. It uh, ups your damage. Oop. This room is usually scary if you can't fly. Just because... Those blind things that shoot, uh, those blind spiders that shoot three shots are kind of, kind of annoying sometimes. Alright, that had the potential to be scary. Especially because those flames could have shot back at me. And we get, is this infestation? I forget if that just spawns flies as you damage enemies, or when you get hit. I think that's the mulligan when you get hit, but I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably when you get hit. Otherwise, I would have spawned at least one in that room. Now, if I can get another key, provided that the donation machine doesn't break on me, I will get to 999 coins. Okay, spiders are still scary. Hey, a key, perfect. Now hopefully, oh, goodness. I forgot, we got the, uh, uh, what is this, Curse of the Blind? Or something like that, Curse of the Maze. Let's, uh, before we go fight the boss, let's try to secure our... Perfect. And I'll buy the black candle because we can have two candles. Uh, the black candle uh, prevents you from being cursed. I think it nullifies the curse in this, this floor too. Uh, Dark One is not a very fun boss. Uh, hopefully he doesn't shoot his brimstone because that tends to be kind of a sudden attack. Oh, ooh, wow, I almost died. Okay, I think we're good. Do not like this boss. When I first uh, started playing, hey, hey, more damage up, perfect, and speed, which is always good. And I've already gone into the devil room here. Yeah. See ya. Ah, oh, please don't screw this run up. And that's that's really how most runs go with a lost. It's like, all right, I got some really good items. Don't mess up, and then and then you end up messing up. I mean, this is this is truly something special, especially since I'm playing on hard and I have curse immunity, which is great for me. Uh, three bombs. Okay. All right. Have to conquer the two by two room. Okay. This this room will be free. Normally, this is a. It's an awful layout when you see this layout, but with the uh, the little turret guys that walk around. That can be a very difficult room. Similar enemy ended my run uh, last time. 
the regular gluttony enemies. And this is also kind of a scary room just because the layout is kind of annoying for uh, just general walking around, but Monstro's long. I do not think we'll stack at all with Mom's knife, so I'm going to leave that there. Okay, Greed should die like a chump. Uh, no steam sale, but I have enough coins to where that doesn't matter. Overall, totally inconsequential. And you gotta be careful when you enter rooms. I have definitely lost runs to just straight up running into fire upon entering a room. Actually, I've just straight up ran into enemies before, like without even thinking. It was really stupid. Okay, a little scary. We're good. Uh, n really no reason to go to the arcade. Uh, there's no health to grind for. And I don't really want anything that I can particularly get. Scatole might be good, but uh, the odds of getting that in a timely manner are not that great. So I'll just skip it. Alright, time for the boss. Let's see who it's going to be. The hollow is going to die really fast. Oh, he lived a lot longer than I thought he was going to. Tears up doesn't really matter for this. Kind of sad we didn't get another Satan room. But, on to the depths. Or the necropolis, rather. This can be a very, very difficult portion of the game. Hopefully I don't run into any enemies that are the, uh, the masks with the hearts. Those are some of the worst enemies in the game. Okay, gotta be careful with the leapers around. Okay, good. Uh, at this point, I probably feel like I should... Oh, nope, don't want to get hit. Those guys jump at us, and it's not fun. Okay. I have definitely lost a couple runs to those enemies. Okay, a big dingle. This will be fine. I feel like if I come across the bosses, I should probably just start a... Uh, just start going straight to the bosses and uh, not worrying about the item rooms unless I sp just come across one. I'm going to open up the shop. Hey, I'm going to take the options because I love that item. What that does is basically uh, every time you kill a boss, normally you get one item. Uh, when you have the there's options item, uh, you get two items, and you basically get to pick one. So it's it's something that's pretty good to have. I wasted a key. Pretty much pick it up every time I see it. And I think... Yeah, I don't need any more bombs. I'm going to go ahead and go straight to the boss. Hey, it's, it's the hollow again. Oh, wow, and the candle eats him up really bad. I totally forgot I had the candle ever since I found little brimstone in Mom's knife. Uh, magic Mushroom will make our damage go up, but it'll make also make us bigger, which can be a problem. I'm taking both of these, because that's basically just free damage. Um, I'd be a fool not to take this, despite the fact it'd make me a bigger target. I'm just going to move on. I feel like Magic Mushroom is a much more common item now. Uh, it used to be one of those items you just never saw. And now I've, I've actually have had quite a few runs where I found that and the Halo. Uh, I think I've, I've seen them within two floors of each other. Alright, this room won't be bad so long as I take it easy and don't die like I did last time. Okay. Oh, there's still one more. Okay. Oh, just the enemies I didn't want to see, but it's okay. Two of diamonds, why not? Uh, oh, I've never seen that room before. Just a straight up donation machine. Uh, this room could be bad normally, but is free. Uh, except I miss. Okay, good. Push pin, don't care about. 
And one more item room. The map would be perfect. I might as well buy both just because I have the money. And I don't need to donate any more to the machine. And what card do I get? The world will help. It should. Alright. Uh, I do not want to have to go through a lot of stuff to get to the item room, so I'm going to go straight to Mom. Who should die. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, I'll make my decision in a bit. I'm going to attempt, uh, I'm going to attempt the boss rush, actually. Uh, do not want to pick up Lazarus's rags. Is that Infestation 2? I think that is. I'm going to pick that up and give it a go. Oh no, that's the mulligan. Alright, so you have to beat this in order to, uh... Well, to get an unlock. So I'm hoping that it'll go decently for me. And Carrion Queen is not playing nice. The red flaming poop is really annoying to deal with. So really the hardest part of this boss rush is uh, dealing with Monstro, 2, and Gish at the same time. Uh, but hopefully I don't have a problem with them. Alright, Blast Assist is not really playing nice. It, well, it was just moving kind of in a funky way. Alright, um... Oh, hey, and the dead bird activated from my trinket, which is always welcome. Alright, Steven and Gemini. Oh, wow. I love how that small rock is right next to, uh, right next to some of the flame poop. I am not going to risk picking that up. The one good thing about the red poop, though, is it, uh, uh, kind of deals with some bosses on its own. Alright, there's Monstro 1, and Little, or Big Chad, rather. Oof! Alright, so far so good. Well, either way, at least I've made it uh, farther than my last attempt. Oh yeah, Gertie's up there. Oh, gotta be careful. Gertie, despite the fact all the damage we do, still... Alright, here is the hard part. If I can get past this, I might be good. Ooh, wow, I'm glad I moved. Alright, there's Monster 2, dead. Alright, there's Gish. I can keep an eye on him. He's dead. Alright, hardest part now is going to be... I guess Headless Horseman and... Headless Horseman and, uh, who does he spawn with? Um, the Fallen. That's gonna be the toughest part right now. Oh no! I forgot! Oh no! The bloat shoots off Brimstone off on the sides. That was the run to do it on, too. Ah, well, that's it for episode two. Uh, thank you for watching, and come back, and I'll try to do this again. Goodbye. I'm feeling really bad about everything right now.